Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. We're going to do the final update for the uh, Bank Holiday Weekend. Of course, tomorrow is Bank Holiday Friday. Um, would normally be on a Monday, the first Monday uh, of May. But uh, this year it was pushed back to Friday the 8th of May to coincide with the 75th anniversary of uh, VE Day. There were supposed to be uh, countrywide commemorations and celebrations. It's all off because of the uh, awful coronavirus. Um, so uh, so there's no real events, I don't think, taking place or commemorations. But, uh, of course, everybody will have it in their mind what the day is all about. We have got the bank holiday itself tomorrow. So um, I'll talk you through what, uh, what we're expecting in terms of weather over the uh, next three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, one last time. Uh, so coming up later on today, we'll have a week to 10 day video update, including all of the regular features. We may do Stormwatch uh, tonight, actually. Um, so we'll touch on this as well in, in this update, but there is a risk of some heavy showers breaking out over the weekend. Let's have a look then and see what's happening. Well, this is the situation for tomorrow, back on a day, Friday, 8th of May, 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. Uh, on the 8th of May 1945, uh, looks like this. And uh, generally high pressure is still more or less in control. Although pressure is weakening. We have a little trough that's sitting over the central part of the country. The upper air temperatures do look quite warm, especially for more southern parts uh, of the uh, country tomorrow. And we've got showers breaking out. So uh, this is three o'clock in the afternoon. Some quite heavy showers suggested there for Scotland, uh, southern Scotland to northern England, northern Ireland as well, and possibly a few coming through Wales and Midlands into parts of uh, East Anglia. They're relatively well scattered, these showers. So uh, even where we've got the showers, east of Scotland, north east England, where six o'clock in the evening, again, still northern Ireland, the Midlands, parts of East Anglia, even where we've got the showers, you will be quite unlucky, I think, to catch a shower in those areas. But if you get one, it could be quite heavy, could be a little bit thundery. Uh, you'll see there is large areas of drier conditions as well, dry conditions. So uh, a lot of places are going to stay dry, I think, tomorrow. And it's warm uh, as well. Temperatures are uh, warmer than they're going to be today. Central London is being forecast to get 24 General rule of thumb is to add a couple of degrees on. So uh, 26 is not out of the question with that uh, in the middle of London tomorrow afternoon. 26 is uh, almost 80 Fahrenheit. It's 79 Fahrenheit in old money. And more widely, we've got temperatures into the low to mid 20 Celsius. Of course, it will depend on cloud amounts. It will depend on uh, on whether the showers really start kicking off. If they do, that will limit uh, the temperatures. But potentially, it is a very warm day for uh, Bank Holiday Friday. What a nice day it would have been uh, for, uh, for celebrations and commemorations for the uh, 75th anniversary. I think, it, I think a lot of uh, areas would have had a really nice day for those events. But there we go. Unfortunately, it's all off. We go through to Saturday and uh, we find that the high pressure vent is pushing up to Greenland and Iceland. We're trying to turn the wind into the north. More about that in a moment. And pressure is generally just weakening and uh, weakening and ebbing away uh, across the country. Upper air temperatures, if anything, on Saturday are even warmer down in the south. They are approaching 10 degrees at 850 HPA. But we have got cold air lurking just to our north. Look at that. Big temperature gradients uh, from north-south across the country. And that might start to spark off some big showers on Saturday. This is precipitation forecast for Saturday afternoon. So if it's bad and more persistent rain here across Scotland, that's a cold front that's intrusive for colder air than the north. Southern Scotland, parts of Ireland, England and Wales, that's where we've got showers uh, blowing up through the afternoon. Not so much in the far south and southeast, you'll notice, but really from Wales and Midlands, northern England up to Scotland. Uh, heavy outbreaks of rain for Scotland and heavy showers. Possibly the risk of some thunder coming through uh, as well. There is cape and lifted available on Saturday afternoon. That's convective potential. So that's the reason I'm thinking about doing storm. Storm watch tonight actually. Um, so we can have a look at this in more detail. Uh, the thunder is for Saturday. Temperatures are still warm through most parts of the country on Saturday. We're up to low 
to mid 20s Celsius again. 23 being suggested for London. 25 is possible. 22 in the Midlands again. That's getting close to mid 20s Celsius. But in the very, very far north, turning much colder with temperatures plunging down into mid single digits. And that takes us through to Sunday when the high pressure is out to the west of the country. Our winds are plunging in from the north. Much colder north winds plunging down uh, across the country. Look at that. There's the upper air temperatures. And yes, we are bringing the minus 5 Celsius isotherm down across the country to be cause of sunny. The minus 10 Celsius isotherm, the only port minus 10, is still touching northern parts of Scotland. Quite remarkable, really, for the 10th of May. There's uh, the precipitation forecast for sunny. So not much precipitation around what showers there are uh, across the northern and eastern parts of Scotland. Could be wintry with snow coming down to low levels across northern and eastern Scotland on Sunday afternoon. A rain just sort of clinging on across southern counties. So that could be a bit of a nuisance, perhaps bringing a cold, wet feel to those southern coast counties. But otherwise, there's a lot of dry weather on Sunday. Uh, but it's a cold day. Look at that. Temperatures at best in the southwest, sort of around 13, 14. So the Mara just holds on to the extreme southwest, while the most parts of the country are down into single digits. I think that's a bit over the top. I don't think it'll be quite as cold as that, given the May sunshine. But nevertheless, we are going to see a really big plunge in the temperature taking place from Saturday through to Sunday. And you will notice that dramatic uh, drop in the temperature that takes place from Saturday to Sunday. It's going to be a very, very interesting weekend indeed. If you've got a thermometer, keep an eye on it. See what it's doing. Outdoor thermometer, of course. Keep an eye on it. See what it's doing. Um, over this weekend, there is going to be some very, very uh, interesting weather coming up indeed. Right, that's it for the uh, for the uh, final update for the uh, early May um, slash VE Day 75th anniversary bank holiday uh, weekend. Uh, as I've been telling you uh, for Gaz Weatherly, it's this bank holiday is going to ca carry on as normal. So normally on a bank holiday, we would take the day off and I'll put a historic video up. But, uh, but for this one, I'm going to just... Just keep it as a normal recording day. So we've got JMA Friday coming up for you tomorrow and a week's 10-day video update as well. But there's more videos to come for you today. So I'm getting a bit ahead of myself uh, with that. Uh, right, but whatever you're doing over the uh, bank holiday weekend, have a great time. And uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.